All right, one thing you have to look out for if y'all come back here. I got a trench here that I want that to remain because I'm running power. This is a new shed and I'm running power to it. And that trench has been dug for that purpose and there's my conduit I'm gonna lay. So don't bury, don't bury this. Leave this open because I'll bury that. All right, so, and these panel, these uh, patio panels will be out of the way. They're gonna go on that shed. I just, it's just too damn hot to install it. But this will be out of your way if, uh, if you come out here and do it. So that, those panels are gonna go on that roof right there or extend the roof out. Okay, so here is, where's the property? Oh, here we go. So this is from this point that way and from this point to the road that's that's the one acre that is one whole acre and then the opposite way from this acre and back there that's three and a half acres total so you don't have to touch none of this the three and a half is not going to be touched now that'll be a later date so from this point forward from this point going that way it's going to have to be bush hog and so you got a big ass tree right there so that tree is probably gonna to have to stay you know there's no reason to knock it down but it's definitely in the way of the straight line but i'll deal with it when the time comes so you wouldn't have to put any dirt here in this actual section i guess i mean you could if you wanted if we had extra dirt i guess it could be laid out right here but the main goal is from this line from that line right there where those bushes and trees stop starting there going that way put all the dirt and there's some more bush hog bush hogging that will have to take place to give you an idea so it's about a hundred uh, maybe about 200 foot 250 foot from post to post let me stand back so you get a better idea that would have to be bush hog so I'm thinking you can go my property line and like maybe another three or four feet into the neighbor's property line which they would not mind that way there's nothing on the back side of my fence that'll grow up into my fence I guess and it'll be nice and clear on the back side of the fence. Right, here we go. Should be a good shot. What's going on here? So, boom. Boom. And it looks like, you see, probably lines right behind that tree back there. So, you got that, you got that. And then, behind this bush, this little tree, this can come down, I don't mind. There's the corner. So from there, all the way down. To where that other post was where I started walking from. And I'm eventually gonna wanna get from this line to the street cleared out, but that could be another day. I'm not really concerned about that just yet. But I'll definitely want to get that done because I want to put a nice fence on this side too. But you can see what's going on with this. See, that's all, that would all have to be trenched through because I like the wall of trees for privacy. So if I look back 
where my uh where that other post is probably about right here yeah you're going right through boom all of that so I, I would i don't mind having this stuff but if i can have a clear line up in there to lay a fence that'd be great but again that's another day that will not have to be taken care of this this time so there's another wide shot and you know lay the dirt all the way up to uh, i guess the end of the mobile home so boom so like right here let me see yeah to the to the end of the mobile home that way all dirt so basically cover all of this to where i don't see any oh look at that see i just stepped in a hole right there god damn it look at that that used to be a pine tree hole see things like that dude all over this land just need it all filled up so uh cover all that when i don't see any grass and i guess it self compacts itself with the weather as the weather rains and stuff I don't, i'm guessing i don't know but make it smooth as ice and let me come over here to the those holes like here's here's a bad one that's just where tree stunk uh grinded the stump used to be that's a that kills my back this is a little bit that smaller uh sinkhole i guess you can say this is the smaller one i'm in the middle of it right now and then the big one is right here i hope you can see this because there's a massive glare on my phone and i can't see it but i'm standing in the middle of it right now all right maybe that's a good shot i don't know but there you go and also, if you do come walk over here, I'm letting you know where all the ankle breakers are. So you have the uh, you have the conduit trench I want to keep, but also there's a water water line here. Let me find it. So this trench is another trench that I installed my water line, but I was gonna put some more water lines in here. I was going to do one from the city, which this one is, and then one from my well. And they was going to share the same trench. But I just never got around to hooking the water line up to the trench. And so this has been exposed for a couple of years, and I just never got around to filling it up. So I guess I'd want to get some dirt to fill this up now, because I don't mind this being filled up now. Yeah, see? So I'm just saying, if you come here, just watch your step. Because you will, you will be breaking your ankles. All right, dude. That's to give you an idea. Give you the address. Two zero five five six Joiner Road. And if you come here. This fence will be installed. It's kind of half ass. So, this fence, god damn it, over here. So, the fence will just be latched like that, All right? Just come here and just pop it off. Make sure we put it back on both of them. So when you pop that off, you have to lift this, get it off that, and then roll it off to the side where it was when I just picked it up. And that's how you would drive in here. And you can drive in between the electric posts. Yeah, just go ahead and you can drive in or you can just park right here and just walk to the back. But again, if you walk to the back, Watch out for this trench right here, for the water. You will twist your ankle. All right, man. I think you've seen enough. I'll shut it down.